Scott Warnberg. Well, I don't know him as parents are sitting in the motel of Jack, and I was checking my car in for a battery relube, and Jack had all these clothes, and he said, man, you look good. The sun came up, didn't have a gun. You want to take it out to breakfast? I said, who's buying? Jack said, you must be. I said, Jack, you're on. No lunch. Hunger in the streets was never supposed to be this way, as they've taken away my addictions, leaving me once again deprived, but alive, as I speak through the soles of my feet. Have I sold myself short yet? Have I had enough to eat? I think not as I trot through the heat of May to a familiar place where my back is abused and I stand accused for the life I accepted and the bullshit I rejected that greased the bearings that kept the wheels turning for gray-haired loners to stare from their collars while calculating payments and putting aside for vacations. Meanwhile, my machine runs at top speed, but the fines of ingenuity can never take me further than the rifts of a vagrant philosopher, which help me to better understand quarters are in demand and pennies are for fools, but I too race with my hands cupped for whatever may drop from God's good graces that seem to miss the escapists with a wisdom that's beyond slogans from a voice that can tune the noisemakers to what's really moving. Someday I'll make Wilmington history. I'll be escorted in a parade of glory down Avalon Boulevard. But till then, Lord, just give me a place to waste at the end of my shift. A dog that won't jump the fence. A book of poems to read to my wife. Or just hide me from my debt collectors. But pay off the poll.